18 of the Black Pearl All Scenario version and my build of this particular ship. Um, I'm not a superstitious person, but episode 13 brought on some tremendous challenges. Let's get started and find out what exactly I meant by the tragedies and triumphs that I ran into in this segment. On the ships that I've ever made, I struggle with this little wooden um, seal, I'll call it, that goes at the base of the masts. This time I thought I was being extra careful and I still broke both of them. So what I do as an alternative to that is I have this very thick rope and I will just wrap it and attach it down there after the masts are in place. I think in the future what I will do is go to my bandsaw and cut out the the framing around those little wooden washer. So I failed this time but I'm happy with my alternative rope work. If you recall early on I said I would put enough of the mahogany stain on the planking of the ship that would almost look black and that to me is what the black pearl is it's not really black in color it is just aged so much that it appears black from a distance and that's what I think I've achieved here obviously there is a a opening that goes here I'll work on that later but you can see that my dark stain and one coat of tongue oil has been applied to this. I'll give it another coat. Here you can see the alternate trim piece that I use and then the etching that was on it I covered in copper and I've now aged that with that ammonia solution. Even though these lanterns look fine now I had a major tragedy. I inadvertently took this plug which is connected to this transformer which runs my sanding belt and I plugged it into the ship. It fried the two outside lanterns. So I had to tear this all out, get those wires and recreate this back into the ship. That's what's caused my delay of posting any additional videos. I made a new piece to cover up where the wiring is because that was a nightmare to get into because I had not intended on ever changing the lights again. When they burn out, they're burn out. But now I suppose I could tear this back out and find the wires. Anyway, I've recreated all that. It's back into working order. I'll do a little bit more trim work on it eventually, but now I'm just so disappointed in myself for messing that up. I'm very happy with the uh, the lanterns now. That trim work. I'll finish all this up later also. After getting the back lanterns working again I started doing a little closer inspection inside the ship and I do have some additional lanterns that did um, receive damage fortunately not too many. The back of the ship, middle of the ship is pretty much okay. I lost one. I lost this one right here at the bottom of the steps. And if you go to the front of the ship, I think you can see way back in here. There's one there out and one back even further. And I think there's, actually I think all the ones in this frontal part of the ship are out. They're not very visible anyway. I'm incredibly disappointed in myself. Lesson learned, be very careful not to plug in too much power into these LEDs. Um, they won't survive it, much like most of my prisoners just couldn't survive. At this point, I have completed Pole one or book one. I'm not doing any of this work because I didn't use the casket for the electrical work. I will still use the casket. I'll put it together eventually, but I don't need to do that now. That can come much, much later. 
Same thing with all of this climbing, scaffolding work. I'll do that probably last. So I've come to the conclusion of book one. Now I'm ready to start the second poll, which is instruction book number two. This is where a lot of the side rails begin to get attached and it really starts looking like a ship. I'm just getting started in poll two or instruction book two, and there's a little confusion on verbiage for me, but I think visually I've figured it out and that's these pieces that go on, not necessarily first, but you know, there's a, you can pick some of the order. And this piece is squared off, so you'll have to file it down to fit. If I look real closely at the instructions, it looks like this piece is flush with the front of the ship. These side pieces are flush with the outside edge of the ship. And there's just a little overhang right there. So the front matches up and there'll be a little overhang there. And I think that's the way it goes. And then back on this end, there's going to be a slight overhang also because there'll be another one of these coming underneath it and you'll want it to come up underneath that. I'm currently gluing down those pieces. This is the, the lower piece that curves and they have a little square opening to them. Let me show you them down here. And these are thin, but this is what those posts go into that hold the upper rail. Sometimes you just have to get creative on how you're going to hold things down. I'm having second thoughts on how I put these on. I have the overlap just on the inside and flush on the outside of the ship. And maybe it just should have been centered, so make that decision on your own. This piece does have to be bent. So I soaked it in a little bit of water and then I used a, uh, actually a wood burning tool. I used to have a plank bender and I ruined it. I tried to preheat it with a propane torch and must have fried something. Works pretty well. I just use the uh, inside where it's dark. That's the hottest spot. Same thing with uh, this piece back here. You have to contour that yourself. So that uh, has worked pretty well. When you get to the first instructional page of the second poll booklet, there's really a lot going on on this first page. And some of it is a drawing, and it, it says before you start, make sure you kind of research what you're doing. And you almost need to be a project manager, because these instructions are not necessarily step by step, but they do follow an order. It's just it doesn't tell you step by step, so there's things you decide. For example, these rub strips for the uh, lifeboats to slide up and down on, uh, it just pictures it. You have to decide, how am I going to put this on, and how is it going to work in relation to these rub strips. I also decided to put uh, kind of a brass, maybe antique brass I should say, nail to help hold these in place. Uh, so I didn't just have to rely on glue, plus I like the look. I could have notched this out, but instead I went ahead and put these rails on. I did put a, um, oh, like a pin or a nail on the back side. I drilled a hole and stuck it in, and then drilled a, a small hole inside the boat. doesn't go all the way through, just something to give it a little extra support on those rails there. I ended up taking this rub strip up to the edge cut a piece to put in between and then continued on. Part of the reason I did that instead of notching this out is these pieces of wood were not long enough to go the entire length of the ship. Another item is that this wood is thicker and it did require some work on getting it to bend so I did soak it and they used a uh, like a soldering iron. Any kind of a uh, heated bending tool works best for me so I have it the right shape. And on this one, I'm going under and I put the seam underneath this rail. So it looks like it goes all the way across. Once I get it lined up, I'll drill pilot holes, I guess. I've already drilled holes at two inch increments in this all the way down. So I'll just make another through there. So let me get that in place 
and I have it enough bent enough that now I can just manually force it the rest of the way without risking breaking that uh, timber. Get a little mark right here. Sometimes I'll just take more stain and restain that. But you can also take a black marker and just lightly touch it. Nothing wrong with a few scars on a pirate ship. I've been kind of soaking these pieces of wood so I can get a nice bend to them. This is just a soldering iron. And this one I really have about where I want it. Just final little touch here. I kind of use it to dry it off. And then that's going to give me the bend that I want. This will go right back here. Got this one done. They're almost ready to be put in place. However, I have not put the planking on this little section here. And I want that so that uh, I can get it sanded off this same shape. And then this can kind of cover the edge of it. I've come to a good point on episode 13 that I think I can take a break. You can see I've got some of these top rail supports here. I'll be putting those posts in and the top rail is actually in place here shortly. But I've gotten these secured, ready to go. It's going to be a few weeks before I post another video. I'm going on vacation for a couple of weeks. I've gotten a lot of work done, but I still have a long way to go. But now it's just the final trim pieces and the things that make it a ship. Stay tuned, I will be back and continue this build through the winter and hopefully get it completed before winter's end. As always, thanks for watching.